Okay, classify these salts as acidic, basic, or neutral, and why? Okay, great. So whenever you're talking about salts, right, you have to remember that these are strong electrolytes, meaning they're going to dissociate into ions in water. And for something to be acidic and basic or neutral, that means you're looking at the pH, right? So the pH, whether if it's equal to 7, which means it's neutral, and if it's acidic and basic, which is for acidic, it's going to be less than 7. And if and if it's basic, it's going to be greater than 7. So they've pretty much wrote out the salts that are going to be acidic, neutral, and basic, right? So you need to remember that whenever you're dealing with these types of questions, you need to be able to break down your um, salt, right, into ions, right, and figure out whether each ion would contribute to the pH of your solution. Okay, so the first one Okay, so they wrote NH4ClO4, right? So this is the first one that they have. NH4ClO4. Okay, so if you remember, right? So if this gets broken down into ions, right? You're going to have ammonium, right? Which is NH4 plus, and you have ClO4 minus, right? And first of all, how do I know what the charges are? So think back about naming, right? Naming compounds. Well, this is basically plus one and minus one because of the subscript, right? So whatever the, su the subscript is of NH4, it becomes the charge of ClO4. And that's why it's minus one. And on the other hand, if you're looking at NH4, right, it's because of the subscript of ClO4, which is one, and therefore it becomes plus one. So you apply the crisscross method here. So that means in this case, right, if you have ClO4 minus, right, the the only reason why this solution is acidic, right? So this is acidic. Oh, you guys can't see that. Okay, let me just write that here, acidic. So the only reason that this is acidic is because of this NH4+, right? Because if you're looking at ClO4-, ClO4- is actually part of a strong acid, right? So that means if you have an anion, right, anion, which is part of, okay, this is A-N-I-O-N. If you have an anion, which is part of a strong acid, so which, right, is part of a strong acid, so we know that HClO4 is perchloric acid. So if you have an anion which is a which is part of a strong acid, right? This is HClO4 for instance, right? Then that means this will not hydrolyze, right? So first of all, what's hydro um, hydrolyze or hydrolysis? Basically, it's the reaction with water to actually break the bonds, right? So because it's an anion which is part of a strong acid, therefore it's not going to participate in hydrolysis. So only um, the only thing that participates in hydrolysis in, is NH4+, right? So you have NH4+, and basically in the presence of water, right, you have H2O, and again, this is in, in equilibrium with NH3, right, which is the conjugate base plus H3, H3O+, right? As you can see, this NH4+, is part of an acidic environment, right, because it's an acid, therefore this turns this to... to become an, an acidic solution. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so we've covered NH4Cl4. Now let's look at the next one, which is KCl. So they're saying KCl is neutral, right? And that's right. The reason why KCl is neutral is because if this gets dissociated, you would have K plus and Cl minus, right? So here's the rule. Because you have a metal cation with a positive charge, right? So this is with a positive charge, right? So you have a metal cation with a positive charge. And on top of that, you have an anion, which is part of a strong acid, because remember, hydrochloric acid, HCl, is a strong acid, therefore, they do not participate in hydrolysis, right? So neither the two. So HCl is 
a strong acid, right? So the, this does not participate in hydrolysis and also this, right? So therefore it's only going to be neutral. So there's two things that you need to watch out for if it's a metal cation with a positive charge, right? So when I say cation, it's just simply one element and you have a positive charge. And if you're looking at anions, which are parts of your strong acids, right? Okay, so strong acids, that's HCl in this case. So this is neutral. LiNO3 is the next one. Okay, so LiNO3, so we know that this is lithium and, okay, Li plus and NO3 minus. Okay, so we know that this is nitric acid, right? HNO3 is nitric acid, and we also have lithium, which is a metal cation with a positive charge. Therefore, the two of them, they don't participate in hydrolysis, making this neutral. Because nitric acid is also a strong acid. Okay, we have NaCN, right, which is basic. So you have Na+, plus, right? Again, this is a metal cation with a positive charge. Therefore, this will not participate in hydrolysis, but you have Cn-, minus, right? So this actually changes everything because if you have Cn- minus in the presence of water, right, under equilibrium conditions, you have HCN, right? And as you can see, this is your base, right? And this is your conjugate acid plus OH minus. Therefore, this turns NaCN into a basic salt or a basic solution. Then finally, you have K2CO3. So for K2CO3, when you dissociate this, you have two, right, of your K plus, right, just so you balance your chemical equation. And on top of that, you have CO3 two minus, which is carbonate. So that's how I know the charge. Remember naming again, this two is from CO3, right? CO3 two minus. And the reason for that is because it's the subscript of K plus, therefore it becomes a charge of carbonate, while the subscript of CO3 becomes your charge, right? That's why it's plus. So again, this is a metal cat ion with a positive charge, therefore this is not going to participate. But if you're looking at CO3 two minus, right? If you have CO3 two minus plus water, this is going to result to, in equilibrium conditions, this is HCO3 and this is minus plus OH minus, right? So as you can see, carbonate is actually basic, therefore this is going to be basic. Because this one is your conjugate acid, right? Okay, so we've done this so far. Um, hopefully that was pretty straightforward.